Okay, so AP Olympics. So this is a really fun event that you can do. Um, you, you need a lot of people though. You, you need to have at least like nine or 10 people. So I would suggest doing this as a class, right? So if you're a teacher, this is a way that you can spend a week or two reviewing. Um, or you could have an event at your house, you know, have a bunch of friends come over and you can do this. So basically what you'll do is you'll get into teams of like two to four students. Um, I would say maybe three is like ideal. Uh, so then in each team, have each team come up with a team name, a team flag, um, team colors, you know, they can, they can really rep themselves. And then you want to set up like 10 different events. So um, use some of the different events, you know, the different activities that I've talked to you about in this course. So you could, you know, pull together historical math and taboo and timelines or speed rounds or stations or you know, whatever. So come up with a bunch of different events, have at least somewhere between five and 10 events, depending on how much time you want to spend on this and have the teams compete. So the teams will all compete, you know, through as many events as you, you create and you'll give them a certain amount of points for first place, second place, and third place. You could also do participation points. You can also have bonus rounds. So you could have a team like come up with, um, you know, maybe they have to perform the Chinese dynasty song or they have to dress up like a historical figure or, um, you know, you can do all, all kinds of different, different ways to do like a bonus amount of points. And so at the end of the Olympics, you'll, you'll tally it up. You'll, you'll kind of keep a board, a, a leader board throughout. And at the end, someone will win, a team will win. And so I would say, if you're a teacher, ask your kids, what, what would you want? Um, we used to give them like grade bumps. That was something that they wanted. So sure. Um, you don't have to have a win mean, Anything they used to buy, you don't have to buy rewards, but give them some sort of reward for winning and it'll make it more fun. So I would, I would definitely say that this is like maybe one of the most fun ways to review with a group of students, with a big group. You can make this really competitive. You can make it really fun. Lots of different ways to personalize this and include as many different games as you want. Um, we used to run this over like three weeks in, you know, the end of April and beginning of May. So I would definitely recommend doing this and, you know, pull together something that makes sense for you. Um, you could even like, you could even make this almost like a, an amazing race type, type gig, right? So instead of like Olympics, it's almost like teams are going through, like you could set up different events throughout your school, like it, make it a big like Saturday event, right? And have them go different places and complete different tasks. And then if they complete it, they get the next clue kind of thing. So this is a really good way to do it. It'll it takes some time to kind of like pull it together, but I've uploaded my own like what we've done, so you could just copy that if you'd like. So, you know, have fun with it. Let me know if you are doing this one.